on, folks. Uh, okay, birds, I hear you. They eat and they're excited. I'm sitting here this morning putting a little thing together for the, for the girls. Uh, one of their little TV trays on you know, rollers uh, didn't get put up during the flood and it got messed up. And so I got another one. Same time. And I just got to put it together before they come back because if they come at the same time, Carly wants hers, Coda Bear wants hers, and yeah, I'm here. And, uh, I'll show it to you in one second, okay? Uh, Things up. They're not going to break. I don't know why they got so many. So, so much insulation and stuff in here. But I'm not going to. You're not going to watch this together. I just want to tell you all good morning. And I'm going to say he'll do this. And uh, get it done before I get out. It's going to get hot today. Thing is, I don't have no parts left over, you know, like these little boats and stuff. You have boats left over, they either sent you something extra or you left something out. Normally, it's because I didn't read the instructions and I left something out. But this here, I've done these so many times, I don't have to read the instructions on these. Uh, these little wheels that put in the bottom and you roll it around. But anyway, uh, put that right there. Had a good day yesterday. There wasn't a whole lot to it. Uh, the vet trip and all that, and I picked up feed when I was out. I picked on my trash supplier and picked up some feed. Uh, I had them meet me outside with it. I already called it in. I could take Woody in, but Woody didn't feel too good after his shots. He just, uh, the two shots kind of, he just didn't feel good. Okay, hang on. Yep. Yeah. I fed the cats, fed the dogs. I vacuumed because she's not here. She, uh, she's had three doctor's appointments this week. Now, this was not uh, anything wrong today. This one was with her regular doctor. So she can get her prescriptions refilled. You know, you have to go every 90 days. And uh, they don't really do that. I say, oh, how are you feeling? Well, I'm old. <laughs> I hurt. I hurt. Well, besides that. <laughs> anyway, uh, she had to go get them refilled. And I think Kim went with her. And you know how it goes. If they get all together. They may turn it into a trip, a day trip. That's okay. I've got things I want to do. And if they're not here, I'd set my own pace and do it as I want to do it. You know? So I'm going to cut this off and be putting this thing together. Nobody wants to watch somebody put a little TV tray together. And when I get back through, I'll show it to you. When I get through with it, I got all these parts. And all these parts. But you know what? It has a C on it. This one has a D on it. This one has a, a D on it. So it's got to be an A, B, C, D. I love you guys. You know, the good Lord don't make mistakes. But if you'd have gave us three hands, just not two, three. Things like this. Whoops, I dropped one. Would have been a lot easier. I don't think he'd figure out. Just play with it, Papa, or you'll get it. 
Oh, yeah. And I see the one I dropped. The good thing about these, they're all the same size, so it don't matter uh, as long as you don't lose them. Uh, they're easy to put together. Okay? I about got it going here. You know, these little old, uh, they're well built. You know, I'm not advertising. I'm just saying they're well built little old TV trays. I, I back G and I both have one beside our our chairs. Not so much for a TV tray, but for you know our basket with all our junk in it. Like I guess necessary things in my basket, and she keeps like remotes or something like that in her basket. Glasses. I probably got three or four pair of glasses in mine. But anyway, uh, they they're simple. If you know your alphabet, and that was one of the, you know, because A, which is the top, top here, it says marked A, it hooks to B. This framework here is B. And it's, it's tagged, you got a little tag on it. It hooks to C and D, you know, or C's. And then you get the top. Actually, they marked it wrong because these should have been C's. This should have been D. But it's, this has got D and this is C. Maybe it's the way you put it together. But if you know your alphabet, you can put this thing together. And they always send an extra boat. That's pretty neat. Now, you put rollers on the bottom to roll it. Or they got these little, I call them sliders. You can put them, they slide across the floor. We do the rollers. Kids like the rollers. And uh, all I got to do is put the rollers on it. It's done. And uh, just know the alphabet. And that was one of the first things I learned at Plum Grove Elementary. A little two-room, three-room school back in the day. But uh, one of the first things you'll learn when you go to, go to Plum Grove Elementary back then, besides recess, and that was my main uh course of study it was recess but you learn your ABCs and your numbers you know you gotta learn them uh, I did real well in, in most stuff but I did I mastered recess it was my my favorite subject I did good at it I can still remember some of the things I learned in recess good memories good memories the hardest thing about this, and it's not hard if you got little fingers, is putting these little wheels on because they're easy if you got fingers are not thick. My fingers are thick. <laughs> they thick. And there's not enough space to turn it so they send you a little wrench. Yeah. It has to be thin, I guess, if you get down and really tighten it up. But this is the only thing. It's hard when they're up that high, it wants to slip off. So if you got small fingers, the women probably do it easy enough. Uh, men have a little trouble. Fingers are bigger. Yeah, we've got bigger fingers. <laughs> yeah, that's the way we are. All uh, right. Because God knew he was going to, have to work hard. We need big fingers. <laughs> yeah, because of Eve. It's all Eve's fault. Hadn't been for that. Hey, you hadn't been for old Eve. We'd be sitting up there eating apples, grapes, plums, peaches. Yeah. Playing with the goats. Instead, like most women, she lured us. She lured us into doing something we shouldn't have done. Oh, I know Adam's probably, well, yeah, Adam had to blame her, but anyway, since then, we've had to work. So we have to have big fingers. <laughs> That's my philosophy. All right, bottom line is, this is not a hard little project, really. It's, see the rollers all on there. And that little wrench, it has to be thin to tighten it up. I understand that. Put it on the floor here and I'll show it to you. 
Now, if you use these little things here, they screw right in. So let me turn this around. Okay, hang on. All right, there it is. It's awesome, awesome look, and it's strong. These things are strong. Now, I wouldn't suggest you sit on them, but they're strong. And uh, that is ready to go into the little girl's room. Projects like this is fairly simple. As long as I can kind of work on them below, you know, I had so shoulder surgery and, you know, a few years ago, and I can't do a lot above my head uh, without it hurting. And so anyway, uh, but I was reminded about doctors and surgeries and stuff. I had several surgeries in my life. Uh, appendix when I was about 14, I think. Uh, rotator cuff in my shoulder. Uh, a hernia here in my, by my navel. And then my finger. I don't even count my finger, although they you think it was open heart surgery or something, but they did and all that stuff. But anyway, embarrassing. They take you back there and you strip down. And they pull a little curtain around while you put this little gown on. For a finger! <laughs> well, my shoulder, I don't reach good behind me to tie it. So I said, hey, nurse. Yes, Mr. Mara, you got ties, ties for me. I can't reach around behind myself. <laughs> it took her a long time. I don't know what she's doing back there. <laughs> tied the back of my gown. I don't know why you have to wear them gowns to get a finger cut on. But I was thinking about doctors. Uh, I had a, an old retired Navy doctor uh, one time. And this guy cussed like a sailor, but he's a good doctor. And uh, But I was afraid to go to him the first time I went to him because I remember the doctor in the, when I was in the Marines. You know, they, they used Navy doctors. And pack, you know, you pack the stuff you wear. Uh, I don't know if it caused it, but it, 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 a knot right underneath that strap appeared right here. A little knot, about as big as your finger, end of your finger. But it hurt. And when that, you hit that pack on, you know, a rifle slung over your shoulder, whatever, you know, that thing, you know it would hurt. So I went and I told him, I said, I got this little knot here. You need to, you know, it hurts when I put my pack on. Not a problem. So take your shirt off. So I took it off and he felt around pushing. Oh, yeah. So he sprayed some cold stuff on it. Cold. We're very cold. And took a little scalpel. <laughs> that cold, I'm sure, was supposed to dead it. And it may to a little bit but not deep. <laughs> Cover, throw it in the trash, stitched it, a couple of stitches. You're good to go. Yeah, I'm good to go. I ain't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> but they are, they're good doctors. They don't, they don't waste time. They take care of you. All right, guys, I've got to get on outside and go visit with Ivy. Ivy! I see you looking at me. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeding baby. She's in here by herself today. Uh, I'm gonna leave the gate open so she can come out. I'm gonna come over and mow the yard here. I'm gonna tie that bush up here in just a few minutes. Uh, Ginger and Marianne have got it pulled over 
and I'm gonna pull it up and tie it. I'm running her some water, fresh water right now. And I'm gonna let her run out today. And uh, so I can come in here and mow and stuff. And I'm gonna fix that plant right now before I go feed up. That's right, little Johnny. Or name you little Johnny. Yeah, up in the back of my mule. Eating the feed for the other goats. You got your own feed over here. There you go. Just like him. Now you're not going to get on top. You're not going to get on top. Uh, Buster. What are we going to do with that goat? Buster, put him on the pit, Papa. Put him on the pit. That's what Cuz says. <laughs> you better hold on back there. We're going. The water's run. She said she's back to butt. She got her own feet. She wants to eat their feet. That ain't right. We'll drive real slow and she'll open that gate. <laughs> so I can warm them better by themselves and get them off their moms. All right, I got all my boys here. I got her back here. We're going to go for a ride. Yeah. We'll take them all for a ride and her.
lost it. There's a little girl back there kicked it out. Right with her. Anybody ever say you're a nuisance? But you are. Don't kick my buckets out. I'm serious. Where you go feed? Feed the rest of the chickens and stuff. Let's go. Come on, boys. Oh, she's had her joy ride anyway this morning. And I'll get back and uh, pull those crepe myrtles up. Someone said, you ever fertilized them? Never been fertilized. They just, they've always bloomed good. Maybe it's the soil there, right there or something. I don't know, but they really bloom good. Uh, pulled them up. Those others back up as straight as I could. There's one I'm going to go ahead and cut. I don't think I can straighten it back up and it lays down in the, in the yard. Uh, I was looking. The flood caused that. Uh, it wasn't the goats. The flood has pushed it over. That current come through there. So I'm showing to cut that one. I can't stand back up to get it out of there and I have to walk on mow that yard. But I'm gonna let little baby just run out for a while. She's having a good time. Joy riding. I can't leave her out all day. She'll end up in places she don't belong. I don't mind her riding with Jake. You know, I don't mind her riding with Jake. I worry about Jake's dogs though, maybe jumping on. They're pretty aggressive. It may not be to a goat, I don't know. They they sure don't like Kippy and his friends. But uh then I don't know if it might be a stray come up or something out there. She's walking around on her own. But I'm gonna leave her out for a while there. While I get through in her in that yard, I'll put her back in. up here. Have my cane. There is my staples. Okay. Do not drive off. Do not drive off and leave me. All right, guys. I've separated the mamas, Ivan, and Gidget from all the babies. Uh, Ivan, stop. You're mad. He's just so mad. He's so mad because he had to share this morning because I had to feed them all together. I couldn't feed them separate because I was trying to separate the babies and I had to put the feet all in one spot so they would all come. <laughs> Better run, Buster, he's coming, he's mad. Uh, so anyway, that was the adults. Now over here, over here, over here is all the young guys, even baby. And the reason they're over here is I'm gonna wane those two, and I'm gonna wane this little boy right here, little Ronnie. 
And also, I'm going to, and she's in here because she wanted to be in here to play with these two. And so I'll let her out later. But tomorrow morning, they've already eaten today. I'll give them some hay in a little while. I'll run them fresh water. Yes, <laughs> y'all me do it. They're going to show their butts. Them two. These two here. Roddy ain't backing up, is he? Roddy, I ain't afraid of y'all, two little old girls. I've heard about y'all. I've heard about you. But I ain't afraid of you. I'm going to worm these tomorrow morning, so I want them to not have no more feed today because it's a feed, it's a feed warmer. It's, it's in a, a feed, you know, the positive pellet. It kills all kinds of worms that goats can have, uh, including what they call the barber pole worm, which is the worst goats can get because they can be riddled with barber pole worms, and you won't know it to the last minute. All of a sudden, they're just about ready to die, but it kills those too, so... It'll clean them out. And baby will get hers at the same time all these guys get it because it's a once a month thing. And these two, they're, they're determined, ain't they? We ain't staying in here, Papa. We ain't staying. Yes, y'all are. Y'all gonna stay. Oh, there's my, there's her little friends. That's why baby won't in there. <laughs> hey, Buster. Hey, Buster, baby boy. All right, I gotta staple these. This here right here is the post, so they'd be trying to push you out of there. And I'm done. It's hard It's hard to worm little goats with the big goats. The big goats will beat them off. So they got shelter. They've got fresh water. They've got shade. They've had their feed. And I'll bring them some hay in a little while. That's all they'll get till tomorrow morning. I'd rather be a little bit hungry tomorrow morning when I feed, uh, feed up. So I'll make sure they eat all their warmer it's uh it's mixed into like a feed it's a feed but it's got the worm medicine in it so it's not just like a worm medicine itself but it's, uh they all like it you get to these guys cleaned out and these guys which i'm pretty sure these are all clean anyway they get they've been wormed two or three times these have only been wormed once but they're fixed to get it tomorrow all right, Buster, you ready? When he got hot, he went in the house of G. We got back with groceries for Kim, and, and he had to go in. I can't stay out here for more. It's hot. I'll wait for you on, in our chair. Okay, but Winnie. All right, I'm gonna take this here. Cucumbers panels down, not today. I am gonna take it down though, put it out of the way. May not need it no more if I keep using the uh, uh, sanctuary. I think next year they're gonna do what Jamie told me. She says, go ahead and put soaker hose in there because that, that uh, raised bed soaks water up so fast. It'll almost empty it, you know, just within a couple of days. Uh, uh, you can soak it. Uh, two or three days later, it needs water again. So I think next year, I'm gonna lay, I got soaker hoses. I'll lay them all out in there and just turn it on and just let it just have a real slow drip. Real slow. And uh, then he got his little playpen all put back up for him, it's cute. Anyway, miracle down there in the pond. I'm gonna try to work out here this weekend. I'm gonna pile this stuff up and burn it. I'm gonna empty that trailer for my friend Larry because he ain't showed back up. <laughs> Pull it out of there and air the tires up for him. And if he wants it, he can come get it. I'm not taking it to him. No, I'm gonna tell him so. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm hot. It's one o'clock. I'm gonna go in, fix me something to eat. A light lunch, <laughs> light, maybe. And kick back for a little while. Glass of tea. Oh, Woody. He wants to get in there where it's cool, but then he hears us out here talking and he wants to come out, so I am. I'm coming with him. Come on, Woody, come on. Come on, Buster. Yeah, come on. Woody, uh, 
He wants to be a farm boy. But he'd rather do it in an air-conditioned tractor. <laughs> I would too, would he? Uh, anyway, that's my plans for today is... Uh, Are you filming? Huh? Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, okay. You need something? I was going to tell you, uh, those gloves are in the washing machine right now. Because they got really gross. Okay. Um, but as soon as they're done, I'm going to go start working on that bathroom. All right. And uh, there's some more stuff on the floor in that counter. Uh, I know there's a trash can, some old tires in it and stuff. In the bathroom? No, no. In that big room. Oh, the main room. Main room. Just kind of recheck re it real good. Do the, any paint, uh, all paint goes up on the shelf. Okay. Everything else can come out of there. Okay. And you said tires and, like, what? Yeah, there's a trash can in there. Oh, a trash can. Okay. It's got a couple of little old spoke tires in it. Okay. Not really use them. All those go in the trailer? Yeah. Alright. And uh should be done soon. Alright, buddy. So anyway, Ben's gonna be working. He has to have clean gloves. <laughs> I love him. Uh anyway, uh I'll video some of that too. I'm gonna go ahead and cool off, get the goats situated like I want them, so I can warm them tomorrow. And I'm gonna keep them in there and let them in your weight and wean those at least those three. And uh tomorrow's Friday, I'll do some gifts and goodies, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I may combine it with something because I've got I wanna scrub all my pots and pans. And nobody's gonna to wanna to watch a whole video of me scrubbing pots and pans. <laughs> I don't think. So I may combine that because not a lot of stuff out there to open, and I can just do it all in one one video. And uh, I think that'd be kind of interesting. All my pots that got in the storm or in the flood are going to be scrubbed with soapy, bleachy water and then rinsed then dried the cast iron pots will then be all down. Well, first I'll put them in the grill and just let them really dry out really good. Then I'll roll them down and put them back in the grill and let them bake. They'll be ready to cook on there. Okay, and I'm waiting on Kim. I told Kim this morning, I said, look, Kim, I need some technical advice. What do you want, Dad? I'm right. What do you want? I ain't going to talk to you if you're going to be talking down to me. You wait. You, you all calm down. Well, I've been, I've been here, been there. Go home, cool off, baby. Come back this afternoon. And let's sit out on the patio out here at the pavilion and let's talk. She don't want to talk down to me. I'll take my belt off and wear her butt out. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. You want to tell the folks about what happened to you yesterday? Woody, Woody, you want to tell them or are you embarrassed? And Papa, that temperature taking stuff, and that was probing me, Papa. It's probing me. I don't like it. <laughs> I know, boat. I know, buddy. He look at Papa over there doing that stuff and just whine like, Papa, what they doing? I know, baby. That's just something they had to do. And next week, or next month, it's his turn. <laughs> yeah, your turn and Kippy's. And uh, I think both of them have to go in, in July. Anyway, uh, I'm going to cut this off, guys. I think it's plenty long enough and Anything I do this afternoon, we'll go on another video. Get this out to you on a Friday morning, I hope. I love you guys. Y'all take care, and anything I do tomorrow, I'll video it. Thank y'all so much. Hit the share button. Hit the like button. And subscribe if you haven't. Woody, you want to say bye? Woody, what dog? What dog? You want to say bye? No, he's tired. He ready for a nap. <laughs>